there is a new plan to help pay for an agency that many families with children rely on. Lawmakers are looking at money from the BP oil spill settlement as a way to keep Medicaid afloat now. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan live in Montgomery tonight with the latest proposal and what's at stake, Mike? That's right, guys. You know, a House committee has passed or at least approved a plan to use a portion of the BP oil spill settlement money to help plug the funding gap that Medicaid executives say they're worried about for next year. Now, the agency itself plays a vital role in health care across the state, but it has especially big implications for children. Under the plan, about $55 million of BP money would be directed to Medicaid in a one time payment. That would help make up the $85 million more which Medicaid executives say they need for the program. To bring this home, now Children's of Alabama, in a joint statement with the Academy of Pediatrics and Voices for Alabama's Children, says that Medicaid cuts directly impact hundreds of thousands of children and pregnant mothers, as well as elderly and disabled adults. Children relies heavily on Medicaid money. And uh, if we don't find the additional money for Medicaid, uh, it would affect what Children's Hospital has to offer. So that's one of my priorities. Now, after today, there are only going to be three days left in the legislative session, and the earliest that the bill could appear in the House for a vote is Thursday. Even if the House passes the bill, it would still have to pass the state Senate. Now, State Senator Jabo Wagner tells me that it is possible for that bill to make it out of the legislature if it runs into zero opposition along the way. But even under perfect circumstances, he says it will be tight. Live in Montgomery, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News.